it was to launch for the Mission Control. I can tell you how it was like to sign off and authorize multi-million dollar interest. But I'm not. I can tell you how great it is to be an author at a TV host now. Hey guys, so welcome back to Adobe Rider and today we are going to discuss about the pitch shifter effects. First, let me explain why do we need to use the pitch shifter. Pitch shifter can be used uh, when, uh, for example, let's say you are editing a video for YouTube short and the final length of the video is uh, 1 minute and 15 seconds long. You need to reduce this length to uh, 59 seconds. So you can speed up the clip and then you can use the pitch shifter effect to adjust the uh, audio pitch, right? Uh, another option is uh, let's say uh, you are creating YouTube talking head videos and you want to speed up the talking uh, speed right so after recording the video uh, you can speed up the video clip and you can then add pitch shifter effect to adjust the audio pitch now uh, let me show you this example here is a YouTube short video clip and it is currently uh, 1 minute and 15 seconds long the one method we can use to reduce the duration is so we can cut out the filler words and unwanted things and spaces like that. But in this case, I'm going to speed up this clip. So you can uh, select the clip and press Ctrl R and you can access this uh, clip speed dialog box. Here we can change the clip speed by changing the percentage of the speed or uh, typing the target duration. In this case, I want this clip to be 59 seconds. So I type 59 dot and now it is 59 seconds. As you can see, the clip speed is automatically adjusting the uh, composite with the uh, clip duration, right? So I click OK and you can see now we have uh, adjusted the clip duration to 59 seconds. Now the, there is a problem. Let me show you. I can tell you how great it is to be an author and a TV host now, but I'm not. So the problem is when we speed up a video clip with that contain dialogues, it destroys the audio pitch, right? In order to correct this, we can use the pitch shifter effect. So you should go to the uh, effects control panel and you can search the pitch shifter effect and you can double click here to apply this effect to the uh, audio clip. Then go to the effects control panel and here you can see the pitch uh, shifter effect right in here you need to expand the individual parameters and you need to expand this transpose ratio option to access the slider right so uh, by adjusting this uh, slider we can uh, fix the pitch uh, offset that was happened due to the uh, speeding up the clip so uh, here's the process your you play the video clip and then you adjust this uh, transpose ratio. How great it was to launch for the mission control. I can tell you how it was like to sign off and authorize multi-million dollar engine tests. But I'm not. I can tell you how great it is to be an author and a TV host now. I can tell you how it was like to sign off. So I think that point uh, seven five is perfect for this situation. So while playing the uh, video clip you can adjust this transpose ratio so this is how you use the pitch shifter effects and this is really helpful if you are creating social media content and uh, if you want to speed up your talking speed uh, this is a common technique like for a youtube talking head videos if you are a slow speaker you can uh, talk to the camera at your natural speed and then you can use the pitch shifter effect and speed controls inside premiere to speed up the clip that way you can keep the audience attention so if you want to learn these kind of things please subscribe to adobe rider and i'll be back with the next video thank you